Hello and welcome back to some more Faster Than Light playthrough. Um, given how badly we failed last time, um, I thought I'd have another go. Now, pe I'm going to name the ship the same because it's, it's the best ship name, the Bunky. It's from my childhood. But we're going to stick with Easy because clearly last time didn't go well, so we'll stick with that. Now let's rename our crew. This can be Frederico. We always need a Frederico. Um, I'm not going to name one after myself because it just made me sad um, when, when they died. Well, Rhiannon. Done. Same ship, same layout, same things, slightly different crew names. Um, let's do this. Alrighty, so hopefully this time we won't have quite as much failure. Uh, let's go this way. Oh good, space rocks. You arrive in an asteroid field, asteroid belt, to discover that a rebel automated scout has been stationed here. Be prepared for a fight. Alrighty, let's see. Not gonna waste our Artemis, it has no shield, so we'll put on auto fire, burst laser, right on its weapons. Let's do this. Should be a pretty quick fight. This is a much more reasonable start. Oh, oh, I haven't put people in places. Um, get in there. And you can go on the shields. Alright. Ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap. So we've got a fuel, a drone part, and some scrap. We've just got to wait for the path and light drive to come up. Now, in a lot of spaces that are safe, it'll automatically come up. Um, but because we're in a dangerous location, it won't. So yeah, if we're unlucky, we might take some damage, but we shouldn't do. Let's get out of here. A sun? Really? Ugh. Again? This beacon has been placed far too close to a supergiant Class M star. The ship will gradually overheat until you have to get out of here or die. A pirate, apparently oblivious to the danger, moves to engage. Yeah, we'll be getting out of here just as quick as possible, but let's see if we can't take this guy out first. Take out his shields. Uh, take out his weapons. Leave on auto fire. Ow, laser beams! Now their shields are down, they can't get them back up, so we've just got to wait for it to attack again. Oh, here we go. Solar flare. Not good. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap. So we've got another fuel, a missile, and some scrap. We've just got to hold on until that can work. Oh, fire! Fire! Just gonna open all the doors, pretty much. There we go. That should take care of the fire. Let's jump out of here. We'll go to the store. Hope it's not pirates. The space station here has a travelling merchant who shows you his wares. Good, 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 good. We'll fix all our damage. Ooh. That's nice. That's nice, being able to repair that. But I don't have a drone system. Don't have enough scrap anyway, so... Yep. This is a pretty useless little shop. Um, at least we got to repair. That's good. Repairing is good. We need to be able to do that. And now we can just wait patiently until everything is sorted. Since we failed, I might upgrade our ship, so we might put some of that. Uh, no, we'll just, we'll just do the power bar for now. Okay, once that's all done, send in some repair crews. Put Frederico in the med bay because he's a bit hurt from the fire. This is going. It's not going terribly well, but it's going better than it did last time. At this point, we were dead, so. Um, nothing like a better start. Let's get him to help. 
Okay, Frederico, Rhiannon, Jeff. Hopefully we'll get some more crew members at the next shop. Because you saw what happened last time. The, sh the ship survived. Um, the rest of the crew didn't. Oh, another store. Okay. We'll take it. A transmission from the nearby planet indicates an outpost below which offers supplies to travellers. You send down an away party to check it out. Oh, oh, crew. Um, yes. Okay, good. Crew are good. Uh, can't afford any of those. I can't afford any of the crew. <laughs> Uh, I could sell. I desperately need that crew. Oh well, too late. We'll see where the next jump takes us. Um, and we can always come back to the shop. Let's go to this distress beacon. You find the source of the distress call, a small research station. It appears to be a small laboratory. It appears a small laboratory fire got out of control and is threatening to destroy the station. Their fire suppression system is not responding. Send your crew in to help. Doc and all leave. Let's let's send in our crew. Oh great! You send your crew into into the station. Unfortunately, as soon as they enter, the fire breaches the station's fuel containment. You try to quickly dock and retrieve your crew, but not before an unfortunate soul is incinerated. Okay, so we lost Jeff. So it's Frederico and Rhiannon now. Um, we can go back to the shop. And we can afford a crew member, so... You know, it could be worse. Well, I'd like to get Chris Phillips, the rock man, but I can't afford him, so we'll have to get one of these. We'll get Jack Shirai. Um, he can be on the shields. We still haven't got all our oxygen back. Jeez. Let's do that and at least equalize. Right, let's head towards the exit. The rebels are starting to catch up. It's not good. You see a number of derelict ships near the beacon. After a short time, you hear the telltale sounds of teleporter and shouts from coming from within the ship. You've been boarded! Oh, well, that's good. Let's close all the doors. Let's track them down. Oh god, too many! But I've had an idea. <laughs> Let's choke these bastards. Run, Rian, and run. <sighs> this is going to be another one of those playthroughs. Yes, 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 yes. Die, 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 die. See, they're fighting in here, so they're all just healing as it goes on, which is good. Rodrigo, we need your help. Mate. Come on. Come on. Kill them all. There we go. Victory. Didn't lose anyone. Alright. We need to do some repairing. That's fine. Put the oxygen back on. Close all the doors. Nope, oh, not enough air in that room, that's okay. Open all the internal doors, it'll equalize the oxygen, at least I think that's how it works. Oh, that could have gone better. It could have gone worse, no one died. We've taken some damage, our shields are down, nothing drastic. Um, we can We can deal with this. Just gonna wait till everything is repaired before we head off. Okay. Looking good, looking good. Let's do this. It appears that an automated rebel scout was positioned within the nebula to warn of your passing. 
ship starts to power up FTL. If it gets away, it'll no doubt warn the fleet as your position. Let's not. Alright, so we can't let them do this. So, missile right on the engines, right at the start. Hopefully, this will do it. Ow, ow. Oh, there's no power on the shields. Ah, I forgot to put power on the shields again. So easy to forget little things like that. Get the weapons back online. There we go. Took him out. Took him out. It's looking up. The ship breaks apart and you feel relief in the knowledge that you'll hopefully still, you'll still be one step ahead of the fleet. We got three fuel, two missiles, twelve scrap, and an anti-personnel drone. It's pretty boring as drones go, but hey, I'll take it. You know, I might leave my weapons powered up. I've got enough power bars to do it. Let's get out of here. Hopefully there'll be nothing here. This long-range beacon is almost hidden within a nebula. When the FDL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Good, good, good. So yeah, we'll jump. Let's do this. Alright, Mantis sector or rock controlled? That way looks a lot nastier. Um, let's go to the Mantis, even though they're jerks. You've entered a poorly charted area of space that's known to be home to the Mantis. Ensure your hull plating is up to scratch and that you have enough fuel in the tank to make it through. Yeah, hopefully we do. We only have 11, so we've got to be careful. Alrighty, so now that we're alive and they're all is well, we might leave it here. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, we'll see you again soon.